things up for your dinner. Uh, we've got uh, problems, especially near the coast, and it's not just the wind that's going to be an issue, but also the water. Our coastal flood watch, coastal flood advisories posted four portions of the uh, coast from Virginia to Maryland to Delaware to Jersey to Long Island and even up into the state of Massachusetts. So we've got a lot of real estate that we need to watch. Water vapor imagery showing our areas of low pressure, those areas of spin that we were watching yesterday, they're combining and we see this deepening area of low pressure along a frontal boundary that will up the ante, so to speak, in terms of wind and rain as we go through this the second half of the week. Already we're seeing the rain spread out across portions of uh, the Northeast and New England. Uh, New York, you're kind of in a, a hole right now. You've got rain really surrounding you on all sides. We've got rain through parts of Jersey. We've got some moderate rain up into upstate New York, western portions of Connecticut, uh, areas east of Hartford, up into south central Massachusetts. Also some moderate rain at times through sections of Rhode Island. But this is the norm. We're going to stick with this as we head into uh, our Thursday, even for some, into Friday. Winds right now gusting to 28 miles per hour at Montauk, gusting to 40 miles an hour at Nantucket. And take a look at this, an offshore buoy gusting to 45 miles an hour. So winds will stay gusty uh, as we go throughout the next say 48 to 72 hours, depending on where you are, because this area of low pressure not going to move much as we go through the next uh, 48 hours. Our October nor'easter, your wind forecast shows that we've got 30 to 35 mile per hour uh, gusts uh, upping the ante to 50 to 60 mile an hour gusts as we head into tomorrow morning. So anticipate we take things up a notch as we get into Thursday morning. Boston, 35 to 40 mile per hour winds, same for Montauk. During the day on Thursday, we could be gusting 40 miles an hour uh, off and on at Boston. That's going to slow things down at Logan.